new videos every day. Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Jeff Eccles, and today we're very fortunate to have uh, this lovely young lady with us, uh, Bethany. And uh, if you can't tell, Bethany is about six months down the road. She's got a beautiful baby boy uh, working in there, growing healthy and strong. But Bethany came to me today and told me that she'd been having some lower back pain. Now, oftentimes, pregnancy is the best of times and the worst of times. Everybody's real excited that the baby's coming. But oftentimes, the woman is in a lot of pain due to back. They're having back pain, and they really don't know what to do about it because they've been told by their doctors, and rightfully so, that they shouldn't be taking any kind of drugs or medication. Isn't that right? So they feel kind of stuck. Well, what can I possibly do? That's where uh, chiropractic can come in. Oftentimes, the ac actual weight of the baby pulling on the spine here can start to jam these vertebra up, these bones in the spine can start to jam them up and cause problems. Now in Bethany's case, we actually were involved in an automobile accident several years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. Two years ago, and she was having some back problems then, and I think they got a little bit better, yes? They got a little bit better for a little while, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then boom, here comes the baby, and now they're coming back. And uh, some of the pain medication that she was on prior to pregnancy, now she's really uh, prohibited from taking those now. So we actually need another solution. So today I'm gonna to show you a few strategies that uh, I would use to go about helping her. Now, she, tell me a little bit about the nature of the pain in your back. I know it's down low. Okay. And it'll hurt all the way down my leg. I mean, it usually goes to my knee, but it hurts all the way down the front. Oh, I see. And it's in the front of the leg. Does it ever go all the way down into the feet? It has recently, but it's not very common. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. So Bethany's got some lower back pain. It's mainly on this right side, and then it radiates around into the side and, and even into the front of the leg. Occasionally it goes even down into the foot. Uh, that's a case that we call sciatica, and she's got some pressure on that sciatic nerve, and it's really causing her some pain down there. Now, of course, with Bethany being in this delicate condition, we would never lay her down on her stomach. That's too much pressure on the baby. So everything that we're gonna do for her is uh, either standing up or on her side. That makes the woman real comfortable. And if we can take some of that pressure off the nerve, it really takes a lot of pressure off of, of her because she's not in any pain, and of course, the baby as well. Another real benefit to seeing the chiropractor while you're pregnant is, when the baby comes through the pelvis, there's a pelvic opening, and the baby's gotta go down through that. Well, if your pelvis is all torqued and contorted and twisted, that hole gets much smaller. So one of the benefits of seeing a chiropractor during your pregnancy is to keep that pelvis as wide open and, and symmetrically aligned as we can. That way that baby just comes out a lot faster than it would normally. Makes the delivery a lot easier and can prohibit having C-sections and those kind of things. A lot of my patients who've gone on to have babies during the course of their, you know, their chiropractic care, they had a course of that and then they went on to have babies, they reported that the delivery was much easier for them. So I'm gonna show you a technique that we use uh, when somebody has a sciatic or radicular pain that's coming down into her leg like this. And the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you face just like this and put your arm this way, spread your feet apart a little bit. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you a real simple technique that I can use to help this lady with this problem that's radiating down into her leg. Okay, this isn't something I would really recommend that you try at home. It really needs to be done by a professional who kind of knows the ins and outs of what I'm doing. I just want to demonstrate how simple relief can be for a person um, in Bethany's condition. So we're gonna put your arm just like this, Bethany, and I'm gonna reach around, and I'm gently just gonna pull your hips over to the side like this, and give it a nice gentle stretch like this. Now what I'm doing here is I'm actually repositioning that disc that is the spacer between the vertebra, and we're pulling that disc away from the nerve getting the pressure off of there. And then we can relax and do this back. And then we'll go again, just like this, and give a nice little stretch through this area. And that actually provides a lot of relief. The person will report that the pain moves up out of their leg and kind of centers more in the lower part of the back. And that's actually a good sign. 
And by repeatedly do, doing this exercise here, that lower back and disc area will really heal up nicely. And she will be a lot happier as a result. Okay. How are you doing there, Bethany? Is that okay? Yeah. Very good. So Bethany, let me just show you real quickly what's been going on in your back. You're having your pain right here on this side, right here. And you can see that these little yellow, these are nerves and they come right out the side. And you see how that nerve goes right down through here and into your knee and all the way down into the foot. And that's right where you've been having your pain, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So what's been happening is one of the discs here in your back has kind of shifted over a little bit and it's actually putting pressure on that nerve. And when that happens, how do you feel? Painful. Yeah, painful. <laughs> it hurts. And she told me earlier that she really has some painful days. So the technique that we were just demonstrating when we laterally flex her spine, it actually pushes that disc away from the nerve to relieve that pain. And she told me I can definitely see how that can happen. So this is a real safe, gentle, easy technique just to release that pressure off the nerve and um, so that she's not having that pain down here. Now it's also note, it's important to note that these same nerves not only go into her leg, but they go into the uh, organs of the lower abdomen, the colon, the uterus, the bladder, the kidney. So they can, that can also have an adverse effects on those organs too. So keeping these nerves free of any kind of pressure or interference is really, really vital to how well she's going to feel and how well the baby's going to do. Okay, so now I've done this in the office and I found out the correct way that she's going to respond real well to this particular type of adjustment. So now I'm going to show her how she can actually go home and do this. It'll speed up her healing quite a lot and it'll save her a lot of time and money. Okay, so what I'd like for you to do is since your problem is on the right side and we've determined that pulling your hips to the right side is going to make the pain in your leg go away. You're going to put your feet about a, couple, about a foot and a half away from the wall and you're just going to lean on the wall like this with your shoulder. And you're going to keep your shoulder firmly against the wall. You're not going to get it off of there. And I always bend my arm up like this. Put your other hand right on your hips like this and then slide your hips over toward the wall. If your hips, you're probably more flexible than I am. So if your hips hit the wall, you'll need to move your feet out further. Now you want to hold this for a slow count of about five. Okay, like one, two, three, four, five. And then leaving your shoulder on the wall, just bring your hips back to neutral again, like that. And you're going to repeat this about 10 times. So we'll push back again, kind of pushing. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. And you'll do this, like I said, about 10 times. And the literature suggests that when you're having an acute problem with this, I mean, it's really hurting and it's bothering you a lot, that you do it every two hours. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've often recommended to my patients that set the alarm on your microwave or set an alarm on your, on your cell phone so that every two hours it goes off. You go, what's that alarm? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to do my exercise. So then you go do it. Now, when you do this exercise, it's important to note that what we're looking for is we're looking for that pain in your leg to come up out of your leg. At first, your lower back itself may actually hurt just a little bit more. It's called centralization. But if you continue doing the exercise, your lower back will go, pain will go away as well. But anytime you've got pain radiating from your lower back into your leg, that's not a good thing. So we want to get rid of that. So um, let, me let me see you do the exercise just to make sure you're doing it correctly. So now I'm going to demonstrate, let you do it yourself and make sure that you're doing it correctly. Go ahead and you, you're, you're about a foot from the wall, maybe a little bit more than that. Go ahead and lean up with your shoulder right against the wall. Perfect. Put your hand on your hip. Look straight ahead and just push the hip over and hold. And we're making sure that your hips don't hit the wall. Now they're barely touching the wall. So let's have you move your feet out just about another inch or two. There we go. Now lean up against the wall. Put your hands here. See, I told you you were more flexible than me. <laughs> now go ahead and push your hips good. And you're going to count one, three, four, five. Good. Come back to neutral. Perfect. Just like that. You leave that shoulder on the wall and then we'll do it again. 
Now by her doing this exercise every two hours in the acute stage, she can get a lot of relief from that leg pain. And uh, like I said, the lower back can actually become a little bit sore, but if you just keep progressing and working through it, then that actually disappears as well. You're doing very good. Okay, well thank you so much. Okay, so Bethany, how did that feel when you were doing it? Felt good. Felt good. Give you some relief from the back? Good, excellent. So this is a tool that a doctor of chiropractic, knowing how to do it, can actually work through some pretty severe problems with the patient when they can't, don't have access to drugs or really would be contraindicated for them to take drugs. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if we can help you, please go to my website, uh, www.jeffeckles.com and uh, we'll be glad to give you some help. Until next time, signing off. If you liked this video, we have hundreds of more alternative videos ranging from sexual health to psychology to mind control. So if you liked it, go ahead and click on me to enter the Psyche Truth channel.